In today's video, we are going to make a raspberry mule. Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm Mark. This is the Average Meat Channel, and welcome to Thirsty Thursday. In today's video, we are going to do a little twist on the classic Moscow mule. You know, it occurred to me, I've never done the traditional Moscow mule in this video series, but we're going to get to it one day. Today, we are going to do a little different take on the Moscow Mule. This is going to be a raspberry Moscow Mule. And I think you're gonna like it. So we're gonna have some of the traditional mule ingredients. For example, we're going to use vodka. We're going to use lime. That's about where the similarity ends because we're going to use some unusual things. For this one, we're going to use a raspberry liqueur. We're using um, just raspberry liqueur, but yeah, you know, you could use a schnapps, I guess. I don't know if that comes in raspberry, but some kind of raspberry liqueur. We're going to use ginger beer, like a traditional Moscow mule would. We're going to be using raspberries. So we have a raspberry liqueur, and we're also using fresh raspberries. I've got, I don't know, eight or ten in here. Probably really doesn't matter. We're going to use some basil some fresh basil, which is an unusual thing to put into a cocktail. We're going to use lime. And I think that's just about everything. I'm going to use uh, my strainer shaker, but I'm not going to shake this. This is going to be uh, exclusively to muddle because when you muddle this stuff together, I don't want it all ending up in my drink. I just want the taste of it. Because you know raspberry, you're gonna get all that seed and pulp, and you really don't want that in your cocktail. So let's get started. To start things off, as I said, we're going to use this to muddle. And I'm just going to put the raspberries in there. And the basil. Then I'm going to put a half of a lime. Now, if you're doing this by measurement, a half of a lime is going to be about a half an ounce. That's about what a half of a lime will give you as far as lime juice. And you really do want a lot of as much of that juice in there as you can. Like anything, you know, you always want to make drinks like this to your specific taste. Some people like a little more lime and that's fine. So you make a cocktail that has a little more lime. In fact, what I'm finding is this particular lime, it doesn't have a lot of juice in it. So I'm actually going to cut uh, a slice just for the garnish. And then whatever's left, I'm also going to juice that. I'm just not seeing a lot of juice going in here from this lime. I want to make sure that the lime flavor comes through. All right. And as long as I have my knife out, I'm just going to put a little slice in there. So later on, I can use that for my garnish. And then we'll push all of this off to the side and out of the way. Now we're going to do, I'm going to put a splash of ginger beer in there as well because we're just going to do the muddling. So it doesn't matter, just enough to be able to get all of these flavors. Now I guess you can mix the whole cocktail in here. Um, matter of fact, I think I'll try that. You don't really have to. At this point, I could uh, take this muddled mix and I could strain it into my cup. But as long as I've got everything in here, I think I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. So we're going to use an ounce and a half. Let's see if I can get my measurement here. An ounce and a half of vodka. I love cracking open fresh bottles. And both the bottles here are brand new. 
and we're going to use one half ounce of the raspberry liqueur. Raspberry liqueur. And I'm just going to give it a little swirl. I'm not going to do too much to it because we're just dumping the whole thing into my glass. But there's going to be a lot of pulp from that raspberry. So I'm also going to strain it. So it's going to strain from the strain shaker and it's also going to be put it through a fine mesh strainer. There we go. I want to make sure that everything comes out of that because that's probably one of the reasons why you might not always want to put the liquor in, but I don't think that vodka is going to get stuck in here. But man, I am seeing an awful lot of that raspberry in here. And it's not holding really much liquid back, but I want to get as much of that as I can. I don't know if you can see that. There is quite a bit. There's quite a bit of um, that parade raspberry. No, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my muddler and just squeeze that a little bit. There we go. I'm going to try to get as much of that in there as I can. So now all of the ingredients are in here. By the way, this is a completely full cup of ice. And then all we're going to do is top it with our ginger beer. Um, if you're going to do a measurement, I would roughly say about four ounces. If you're using an ounce and a half of the vodka, about four ounces of the ginger beer. But if you put it in these Moscow Mule cups with full ice, the measurements kind of take care of themselves. And then we're going to put our garnish on. And isn't that a beautiful cocktail? Now, you know what I always like to do? I always like to stop and get a picture for our thumbnail before we move forward. So we're gonna do that right now and then we'll come back and we'll have a taste of this. Mmm, it smells great. We'll be right back. And while I'm taking the picture, do you like Moscow Mules? Have you ever had a variation? I've tried all kinds of different things. If you have, let us know down below. I'd love to hear about it. And we're back. That didn't take very long, did it? So let's give this one the taste test. Oh, that is really good. Hmm. This is really interesting. It certainly tastes like a mule, but um, the raspberry really comes through. It's fresh raspberry. It's also the flavor from the liqueur. Mmm. I'm getting the lime. Of course, the smell of the lime uh, really helps. The basil, I can't say I can definitively taste the basil. But there is something in there. You can tell there's a a little different spice. So I don't know if I would have been able to identify it as basil, but the flavor absolutely comes through. How much basil did I put in, by the way? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. It's all muddled now. It was uh, an entire sprig. It was quite a few leaves. And um, yeah, this, this is really tasty. Mm. Quite refreshing. This is a winner. What a different take on the Moscow Mule. It has everything that a mule would have, the ginger beer, the lime, the vodka. And then we added that little pop, that punch. Raspberry liqueur, fresh raspberry, fresh basil. And it all comes together in a really refreshing, delightful way. And by the way, that matches my shirt really nicely too, doesn't it? Um, the color, the color is um, pinkish, 
but you're not gonna see that if you use a traditional copper cup of um, a Moscow mule. But you know, you can see it looking in there that it does have that uh, reddish pinkish hue to it. This is a good one, this is a winner. I'm really pleasantly surprised at the way this one turned out and I think you should give it a shot. It's really easy to do. Use a fresh ingredients and I think that really, of course, adds to and enhances the flavor. Could you do without? Sure. I suppose you could just use lime juice out of a bottle, use the raspberry liqueur and stop it at that. But by adding the basil, adding the fresh lime, adding the fresh raspberry, I think that's really what makes the drink. And I think you could uh, go wrong if you don't use fresh ingredients. So give it a shot. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner and don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me. I'd like to see you here next week for Thirsty Thursday or during the week, see what else we do. This channel, I think it's a lot of fun and I hope you come back again and again. I'm Mark and this is the Average Me Channel.